I thought it was something I needed to do, so I'm doing it. Well, I don't have a loading screen because I don't like them. But, like, you know, here we are. I have it so I can, like, make sure I have everything prepped and give people, like, a few minutes to pile in before I start doing everything. <laughs> right. Also, like, mental prep. Yeah, I, I, I say that. Yeah, pile in. I, I, I like to give people time to pile. Ain't nobody fucking piling in for this dumpster fire. I piled in. You forced me to pile in. But I did. Fine. I threw you in the goddamn closet. <laughs> that sounds worse than it actually is. I'm under no illusions. Master of Illusions. What is that from? Is that a game? Master of Illusion? Illusion of Chaos? Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh set? Might be. I think it is. There's something with illusions in it, and it's a Yu-Gi-Oh set. I don't know. Can we talk about how cool those set names were, though? And how they're, they're probably still coming out with them? They are with Pokemon. It's fucking insane, and I love it. I was never really into the card games, but they did always look cool. I love the I love the set names. They're so cool. I wonder like how many I can name. Probably not a whole lot. Cause I can only think of like three right now. Unbroken Bonds, Crimson Invasion, Cosmic Eclipse was a good one. Thought you were about to say Crimson and Clover. No. Now I'm thinking about Joan Jet, thanks. Um Same. <laughs> Or the song Nightlife by Green Day. Did you ever listen? I sent you that. Did you ever listen to it? Did you send me Nightlife? I don't think I listened to it. Oh, I should get you to listen to it. I should get you to listen to it on stream so you can just be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, the newest one is Rebel Clash, and I love the aesthetic because it looks like a fucking, like, the logo of a, like... British punk band. It's so cool. I need to buy more of that shit. Wait, Green Day just released a new album? I didn't know about it. Father <laughs> of All? Yeah. In January. <laughs> it's pretty good. What the dog? What the hell is your problem? It'll, it'll only take you a half hour. Shit? What? <laughs> it's really What's short. Matter, dog? It's like 10 songs long, and most of them are under, like, two minutes. <laughs> it's really, it's kind of weird. Okay, no, wait, now I'm confused. You said, well, let's start over with the Green Day thing. What? They released a new album in, like, January called Father of All. Father of All yeah, Motherfuckers. Yeah, we were talking about something Clash earlier. Oh, Rebel, Rebel Clash is a Pokemon set. Yeah. My brain overlapped Green Day and Pokemon. I'm sorry. Apparently. I mean, I would like that. Also, I think my dog might have to pee or something. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to start playing the game then. Oh, God. Did I die? I died. I died here, didn't I? Okay, good. Let me relearn the controls here. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck me. Please don't miss. Thank you. Whoa! That's super effective? What the frick was... I guess it was. I'm gonna use that to my advantage. My advantage. Because I'm not the Hokage. What the hell are you saying? What the hell are you talking about, man? Oh, now it's dark. Was well, this where things start poisoning you, too? Yeah, hopefully this has food in it. Alright, it's got sushi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use that immediately, because I'm not doing well. Just die. I don't want to do that. Oh, this is confusing as hell. 
I'm definitely not going to get lost in here once or three times. Or maybe four or five or six. Oh, I don't even trust you boys. Oh, right. There are enemies that poison you by just by touch. You know what? Y'all are giving me sushi like it's a bad thing, and I don't even care. I will take that chest sushi. Sushi's already dubious enough, but when you put it in a treasure chest, yeah boy. This is just suspicious to me. No! You get out of here. I... Okay, let's not go down there, because I have a feeling they're going to try to make me fall down there. And I ain't into that. That is on my no list. Gotcha. Yes. How much money do I have now? Oh, 3,000. I can afford noodles. Baby, we can eat tonight. You can afford eight. Oh, no. Not if a bat humps my face, though. Speaking of, um, I watched Batman Mask of the Phantasm this morning. I haven't seen that one in a long time. I remember watching it when it was new. I don't remember watching it, which is why I watched it. Shit's pretty fucking good for like a 70 minute uh, movie. I mean, that's just that it's it was it was entertaining. I was invested by the end and I didn't realize how invested I was until the feels started happening. And I mean, and I, I actually had the twist spoiled for me, which was a little bit annoying, but like... I don't remember the twist. It's been so long. Well, just, oh man, yeah, no, this was the movie that came after the animated series, and did I think? Well, I think it was during the animated series. Or maybe. Because it was like 1993, I think? Ooh, I want that. Yeah, 1993. Ooh, Gabriel. I love Gabriel, right? What does he do? Makes light in the darkness. He's not really that important. Okay, let's just... Actually, I really don't need Eliza equipped right now. Oh, hello, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, file you under things I don't need in my life. No. I mean, I was pretty sure you'd like it by proxy because Mark Hamill was in it, so... I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna pretend like you can't do anything to me. There we go. Jose! I don't have a key to get through the store. No. Oh no! That's one of them dogs that poisons you if you use it up the dolls. Okay, I really don't want to do that then. That poisons you if you touch it and it sucks. You know, because everybody, everybody, everybody living now. Everybody, everybody, everybody sucks. I think I want to go down this way. Um, I think I went this way last time. So let's see. Let's. Back I don't know. I'm just going to get lost. It's funny. This entire stream is just going to be this level, probably, because I'm not going to be able to find anything else. I'm actually really curious to play the sequel to this game, which I might do. Who knows? I can do whatever I want, and you can't tell me otherwise. I mean, I guess you could, and I might listen, because I'm self-conscious. Sushi! Good. I was, I was playing it real, real dangerous like that. Hell yeah! I got time to be, where am I at? That was the first one. Shite! Whoa. You tried to sneak up on me. But you didn't! Oh, look out. Alright. Yeah, I was surprised to find that uh, that movie was on Netflix. I was like, is yes, it? And I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. I read it in the comments of the video that spoiled it for me, and I was like, oh, wow. 
I'm gonna watch that then. It was, yeah, it was, I mean, it was worth it. Particularly for being a, I think it's like, what, 70, 80 minutes maybe? Mm hmm It's not bad. It actually had a theatrical release back in the day. It's pretty rad. It looks a little rough. It's I mean, the only, until Killing Joke came out, it was the only animated Batman movie to get a theatrical release. And I hear that Killing Joke is really, really good. I've never seen it. I, uh, I've heard not that. <laughs> I heard that, like, the stuff they added was really bad, but, like, the actual part of it that adapts um, Killing Joke is pretty good. Yanagami. Oh, four, four balls of fire spin around the player. You know what? I'm going to try that shit. What's that like? Oh, well, that's... Huh. I wonder how that could be used. Oh, this is where I found the Megaton, you know? Wow, I said that without you making a Phoenix Wright joke. How about that? So I think we get a new chapter of Super this week. I think it might be tomorrow, actually. Or should I say, tomorrow? Ha <laughs> that's not funny. But, okay, I think I already went this way. And I think I pretty much ex did all that I could do here. Although, me beating on these enemies is probably not... Well, it doesn't really do me anything. If I was gaining levels or some shit, it would actually be worth it. But I really don't think there's any point in me beating them over and over again unless they drop stuff which I don't think they do any time past the first which is unhelpful again I like grinding in games when they let you do it because it's good I'll set the pace have I been down here I don't know it doesn't seem like it yes I have and I'm not going back there so see ya okay so which way have I not been can't get up there Although maybe I should try to do that. Or maybe I should just bite the freaking bullet and use the see in the dark spell. Well, instead of Eliza, that would actually... Okay, yeah, let me do that. There we go. I mean, the darkness wasn't really bothering me because I'm a dark person, but, you know... I do not trust. Uh, no, actually, because this is the way I went. Let's try it. Oh. Now, all right. That's too much. That's too much out of you. I guess there's nothing here. Okay, neat. Well, let's go back this way. And the whistling in this song, or the flute, I guess, reminds me of uh, the Legacy of Goku games. I haven't played those in a while. Actually, I played through 1 and 2 a couple years ago. I know you and I talked about it because you streamed through one, uh, 2, I believe. No, you streamed through 1 and 2, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't do 3 because I couldn't get it to work. Because it thought I was pirating the game. Ooh, I want that sandal. Take me to Sandals Resort so that I can have the time of my life. Just like all those attractive young couples that are having <laughs> the time of their life. It's only the left sandal. I have the right one already. Oh yeah, let's, let's increase my movement speed one level. That seems like a good idea. It seems like that could be strategic in ways that I would not think of. I'm gonna 
Oh no. Bad dog, no biscuits. Name that tune? I guess I've already named it. Oh, look at you. Aren't you just high and mighty? Except you can't jump up waist-high fences, so guess what? I'll just do... Oh, fuck. Only me. Only me. I'll just do seven damage to you until you keel over, because I don't like you. Or you get stabbed in the face. Well, you know what happens is he breaks out of his armor, and then he does this bullshit. Nakedly. Oh, he's like a... What do they call those in Zelda? Iron Knuckle. Iron Knuckle, yeah. Oh, Ash no, so this one, guys, just fucking naked. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of wearing a cloud. It's fine. What does he do? Attack by throwing spears. I don't You really don't get naked to throw a spear, do you? Um, I would hope not. Yo's a little young for that. Now, if we had Shaman King fat, fat, fats in the chan, we would, uh, people would, cur would, would probably say something about the manga that gets revealed by the sequel, but, you know. That's the way, yeah, 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 because we gotta, oh, I don't, ah, balls, I don't trust you, I shouldn't trust you, and I'm about to die. I'll just eat them their hot dogs. I don't. There we go. Good. You keep backing up there. Yeah. Nice heaven slow. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me there's another one. Okay, good, there's another one. Good. It feels really weird exiting to the right and then, like, you move to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I can't do anything here. Except get this chest, which is pleasant. Right, well, I have a little bit of more, more money for noodles now, which is nice. I guess I should probably go ahead and save. I don't want to have to do that again. Welcome. Let me should I buy a, let me buy a hamburger you. just in case. Come again. You ever just buy a hamburger just in case? <laughs> Can't say that I have. Okay, so we need to tell Gabriel to fuck off. And we can put Ian in there because we are not in the darkness anymore. Actually, what we should have, probably, is the one that lets us walk in water. I have that, I think. Yeah, vo 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 Vodianoi. That way we can, you know, avoid this guy, because that's going to be a thing and a half. You can just, yeah. Ugh, I don't, oh shit, I don't like this setup. But sir, I will stay over here and wait if I, oh, uh, I don't have to. Where did... Oh, there you are. I do not trust you. I don't trust anything ever in video games. Oh, yeah, I don't like those guys. Those yellow bats, they fire rings at you. And not the sonic kind, either. Look and, not, spinal columns. and not the wedding kind, either. <laughs> and not the fiery kind, either. Would you want to get married to one of them if they threw one of those at you? No. Unless they're secretly the worker from Pokemon. But I don't think that's the case. I really should just read more manga, honestly. I should do it. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I'll just read whatever I patch Wolf recommends because he's a good dude. Need to watch more of his shit. 
probably do. Because he's, he's fun. It's fun. I, I can tell I haven't watched him in like a week because my internal monologue is in Irish right now. <laughs> like sometimes I'll listen to him so much that I just like, he's like my entire, it, like, it happens when I watch any YouTuber. Like right now, like, like when I talk to myself sometimes, it comes out the critical drinker, which is really weird. So it's like half the time my thoughts are slurring. I, uh, S Scotman or whatever he is. I, I would assume he's Scottish, but I don't know. That's my really bad critical drinker impression, by the way. Hope you like it. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's Genie. Or Jen. Okay, well. What does Jen do? I knew a Jen. Defeat 50 enemies to make a wish come true. I'm going to save that for a spot where I can like grind it out rather than have to do it on enemies here that I am, am afraid will kill me. So. Probably a smart boy. No reward with a hot dog. It probably is, honestly, though. Um, well, we need to get... I have the key, so now I just need to find the... Well, I mean, I know where the door is, sort of, kind of. Can we pass it on the way here? Because I remember seeing a door that you didn't open. Yeah. I really ought to stream. I was about to quote a game there, and I really ought to stream that just because it would be dumb. It's from the Lion King Cub Chase, which I've never heard of that one. is basically just like a Lion King version of Pac-Man. Now that I think about it, I actually well, found it. Intriguing. I found it while I was um, looking for Lego Island. That one day when everyone remembers when I was looking for Lego Island. You, oh, yeah. you you might remember that day because it was when I started streaming your favorite game again because I couldn't find Lego Island. Oh, right, right, right. And Reckless doesn't want to be rude right now, but he's thinking in his mind, well, I'm really glad you didn't find Lego Island. I mean, you streamed a masterpiece of the game, so... Yeah, but I didn't stream Lego Island, so what the hell? Your find Lego Island? Nope. Sure didn't. And sure never figured out how to get it running. I don't think I should go down here. Oh, so you did find it and you just couldn't get it running. No, no. Uh, that was dumb. And now I just had a rock dropped on my head for my trouble, so that was good. Um, no, I, I found a download of it, but, like, I couldn't uh. get that running. And I never did find the disc, so. You tried looking in, uh, looking in your pants pocket and in there perhaps what the hell are you talking about is the disc just maybe in a pocket of a pair of pants you haven't worn in a while I really like how you're playing this straight look the last time I played that game I was not wearing pants large enough to fit a disc in it <laughs> promise This will be like that bump and jump incident from back when Aaron had Vine. Something I don't know about. You don't have to explain the context for me. Um, there was a series of uh, Vines where Ego Raptor, like, the game bump, like, he had a really bad relationship with the game bump and jump, and it ran away <laughs> or something. <laughs> that sounds like a very Ego Raptor thing to do. Dude, Eager Raptor and Jontron's vines were great. And I still remember a lot of them. I'll have to find the compilation after this and maybe send it to you. Should. Oh, another thing I wanted to say about Batman Mask of the Phantasm is that it has a bomb ass soundtrack, yo. I was yeah, not I was good. not expecting that. I was like, oh my god, what the hell's going on here? I think the composer's name was like Shirley Walker or something. Boy, she went fucking ham on that one. 
and I appreciate that. Oh boy, we outside. I don't know again. if I've ever said this, but um, speaking of Game Grumps, I don't know how this happened, but like during the time when um, Aaron and John were the hottest fucking thing on the internet, I somehow managed to completely avoid anything Game Grumps without even trying to. I hadn't even heard of them until they broke up, <laughs> until John left. I'm not sure how. I know y'all talked about him in Tim's Discord a few, um, like around the same time. I I, like, Tim's Discord was not around when Game Grumps was in, was was Aaron and John. No, I remember people talking about uh, John leaving in Discord, like they were referencing back to it, and I thought, huh, I know who John Tron is. I went to look into this, and I was like, what? This how was... did I not know that this fucking thing was going down for years? This was 2012, so did I mean Tim's Discord was like five years away from being created here, so I don't know exactly what was. Am I poisoned? Excuse me, mom. Fucking rude. But again, I don't know how I managed to miss that because like that was stuff like Tim used to talk about in Discord too. It was like Game Grumps stuff. Like, how did I? How? How did I miss this? How did I, I not know. know about it? I don't know. I was definitely active on the internet back then. Oh, we're already here. This game does not do Silva justice. Silva is very attractive. Looks like he could be a Native American. They, he is. That's legit. this guy already yeah Silva's really cool I, I remember really liking him when he first shows up in the manga he has like animal familiars that do different things like he like he has five animal spirits he has uh eagle snake the don fan elephant oh yeah maybe Mammoth. that's what that is or like boar or something I don't know and they all they all like do different things like, the eagle gives him wings, and the snake is, like, this rod. I don't know, it's cool. A member of the Doby tribe? The, oh, that's what they call the patch in this game? Why don't they just call them the patch? It's literally an English word. <laughs> I love Anna. I probably remarked on this last time, but he does look a little bit like Domo and Kashi from G Gundam. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Wait. Her, I like her, too. Her and Silva are my two favorites so far. Yeah, Silva doesn't really have a huge part in the story, but, again, he's, he's a very attractive dude. You should look look him up without the cloak. That sounds weird. <laughs> Hoping you're not directing me to some weird Rule 34 shit. No. Oh, Wolf. Wolf is another one. Whoa, hey, look at him. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Not interested in your snake, sir. Only your hair. Only your hair. I already dig that blue he's wearing. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. God. I don't... Oh, hello. I don't know when I'm supposed to attack this guy, actually. This he's... is just me being an avid Mortal Kombat fan, but he reminds me of Nightwolf. Doesn't really look a lot like Night. Well, Nightwolf has one costume where he wears oh, balls. blue. Glad I have that hamburger because I'm a I'm I'm screw I'm screwboodled. I'm glad I'm over here then. Again, I don't know when I'm supposed to attack him because I really don't have. I guess during this is well no because he moves. What is oh oh he's got a turtle too that's why. Wow. Yeah, I don't know when I'm supposed to attack him. I hope I... When did I save? Shit, I'm gonna have to do water level again. I probably will. I'm gonna get to hear Yo's voice. What a weird I cut that is. I chow down on that burger before you died. Yeah, well, I wanted to kind of spend that attempt learning... Tr trying to learn his attacks. Also, they I look just... incredibly disappointed in you. Yeah, they do. It's, it's a really weird thing. Oh, God. 
Yeah, I think I have to do water level again. Yeah, I sure do. Okay, where's a uh, wooden way here? Or Vadianoi? I don't know what the fuck his name is. Right, and I gotta kill this guy again, which is annoying as hell. Get out of here, you damn bat. I don't need your shit. Now... No! How Ooh. dare how dare you drop that hamburger into the abyss? I will murder your soul. I mean, I kind of already did, so really, I don't know what I can do for him. How dare him? Like, I'm legit sad right now. I might need a pat on the back and a hug, honestly. I can't exactly do that to you. For you, through the internet. I know. Here's a virtual one. Look, I understand. I'm tough. I'll tough it out. It's fine. I'll just get pissed off later. It's cool. I'll, like, close the stream and be like, what the fuck, hamburger? Then you'll make a vlog ranting about that hamburger. Ah, uh, balls. Did I do that on purpose? I don't know. Maybe I did. did I get oh, yeah. His genie's down here. I gotta get genie. Gin. I did always kind of like this music. I don't know why. It just like, I guess because like up to this point you really haven't heard any music like this in the game. So like when I first walked into this level, I was like, oh shit, this level means serious business. I feel like this level is far less tedious than the damn graveyard. Which is Have we been to the graveyard yet? Uh yeah. We were there last time. Oh, 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 I think I know I remember it now. Apologize, there's so much has like gone on this week that <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I mean I don't blame you for not remembering it. It was a graveyard. There was a mausoleum. It it's kinda tedious to get through, but you know, we we did it. It, I mean, I mean, I did it a lot faster than I did when I was a kid, so that bodes well. So, it'd actually, be nice to beat this game because I don't think I've ever done it. I think I've gotten to the final boss and just have never beaten him, which is understandable considering the bosses in this game are like kind of hard to figure out because I never know how to do things. Like right now, my plan for Silva is. Um, to <laughs> Celestial slash him every five minutes and then hope I win eventually. Because I still don't know when the hell I'm supposed to attack him. I don't know if that's just like a sense that some gamers have that I just, you know, that I just don't have as much. But like, I could not find an opening on that guy. But clearly there has to be one. And get back here and drop a hamburger, you jackass. So this is where he's at. Welcome. Did I? Thank you. Okay, let's buy Please come again. Well, I think I got the hamburger from a chest in here, so I don't know what the hell. You stupid eagle! I don't, I don't trust you. You're gonna follow me, and I just, I don't, I don't play that game. I play Shaman King Master of Spirits, not follow the eagle. You can leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you other than slash you about six times. Child's play. There we go. And this is where I got poisoned. There we go. We didn't do that this time. Is that stupid hawk? Cause I don't trust. I don't trust you, man. I don't trust you. All right, let's use. There we go. Now 
armor's fully healed. I think we can do that. There we go. I don't know where I got I guess I bought that hamburger and then didn't save. I did I did it's true. I didn't save that I bought that hamburger. I saved before that. I'm like an idiot. Alright, let's That's two hamburgers you wasted. Oh balls, no. I fast forwarded for too long. No. Don't give me your snake arms. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. No. Damn it, you blocked all of my celestial slash. Now I must wait five minutes for them to recover. Actually, no, I'm just gonna do this until you stop. You don't really... Oh, fuck. I forgot you can do the stupid wings thing, which I don't appreciate very much. Now, you can't just go blocking my attacks. Also, that, that freaking silver wings attack, I don't like it. It's bad. Don't use that one. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Don't with the wolf. Yeah, that's not an elephant. It's it's a it's a ram of some kind. Yeah, just watch out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, now, now. All star. Luckily, that is an attack that does twenty damage, and that's about it. But like, I I still don't particularly appreciate you using it because it's 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 really hard to dodge. Now. Alright, I'm gonna I'll just get out of the way here. Ugh! There we go. Duck? Yeah! Duck. Goose. Bitch. Oh, no, we didn't. We just got duck. I really miss Halo Bump, by the way. The animation of him flying is pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, he's, he's rad. I, I really like his character. He, he, he like, fights twice in the whole thing. But yeah. I kind of wish the bosses had, like, a visible health bar in this game. That would also be kind of nice, but, you know. And some of the Castlevania and Metroidvanias, they do. Not all of them, but some. I don't have enough. Oh, you're going to send the snake after me. That one episode of Dexter's Lab where Dee Dee is Dexter's guru. And she's like, I'm a snake, I'm a snake. Try it, it's fun. Ah, uh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, you, yep, yep. I asked for that one, didn't I? Haha, it is your least favorite thing. Yeah, I, I, I knew that was coming. Well, I'm definitely doing better this time, so that's helpful. No! I don't know when that's going to... There we go. You must sacrifice a cheeseburger to live. No, not yet. Not yet. We're still good. I've only had to hot dog it. That doesn't sound Did right. You just... He just final flash you. Really? You, f you really? What a turd move! You're invincible during your stupid ultimate move where you gotta stand still for a minute. Oh my god! Now I'm gonna die. Oh <laughs> god! That was not cool. If you start spamming that, I'm gonna be real upset. I'm really glad that takes a while to. There we go. There's a combo. That might that might actually work. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I kind of like it when you do that. As long as I can. What kind of Native American has a fucking gun? Um. <laughs> Silva. Oh jeez. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use the hot dog, just because I feel like I'm close. Oh, you son of a poop. With your big ass wings. No. No. Combo me. I... What the hell? Where the hell did you come from? Shit. This, this has, has taken a turn for the worse. Might have to uh, sacrifice that there I already, burger. I already did. God, I love it when he makes that burp noise when I hit him. That's really entertaining a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna do your... yeah, I, knew, I knew it. God, those wings are gigantic. The hitbox on them is insaneable. Can you be dead now? Is this the suggested retail method? Am I just bad at this game? See, this is my issue with video games. Like I was telling you earlier, like I have no idea if I'm actually good at this game or not. Is this game just is this just supposed to take this long? Well, how's this supposed to happen here? Okay, do the gun, not the eagle. Do the oh, don't do that either, because I don't want that shit. It's gonna fucking combo me. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Cause I'm I'm out of, I'm out of healing items I'm out of healing items it's good it's great it's great it's great I'm gonna fucking die gonna... okay he died good Anna's going to say something like, Yo will be fine. He will be Shaman King. That's all you need to know. Oh no, never mind. Darn. Oh, they make us do a little bit of backtracking here, I guess, which is a thing. Wow, that the silver wolf does not look good. That looks very suggestive. All right, well, onward. Kinky. Mildly, uh... Oh, hey, look, a hook hanging in the... Oh, shit. I mean, he just looks like he has a dick for a nose, but, uh... That'll be important later. Right, so, whoa, let's save, because I don't want to have to do that shit again. That would... Rock. That would blow. That would blow a little bit. I don't want to get poisoned by you, so let's just take you out. Let's just let that eagle just like... You know what a weird band is for me? Wolf Mother. I enjoy Wolf... Look, I enjoy Wolf Mother. I don't think I've ever listened to their first album all the way through. I've owned it for years. I don't know that I've listened to it all the way through. I get to like Colossal or Mind's Eye, and that's it. And then, and then I just like am like, all right, well, that's the end of that <laughs> for some reason. Um, do I have how much months do I have? Oh, forty-two fifty. I probably should buy some food, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. There's a bit of backtracking in this game, which is mildly annoying, but, like, honestly, I don't mind, because it's going to get me at least a little bit of coin, maybe. 
That is one thing that's weird about this game, is that the drops are, like, very scant. Like, I'm pretty sure that was, like, 10 yen right there. Yeah, that's what it was. 10 yen gets me, like, nothing. They could have been a little bit kinder with the money drops. Yeah, just again, a little bit. this is this is a merely a good game and not a great game. So you know, you just gotta roll with the punches sometimes. I mean, it could be a little bit nicer with the food drops too, because holy crap! Lord knows I don't have an overabundance of it, and the weird inventory in this system ensures that I don't have an overabundance of it. So yeah, that is some fair. I've never seen inventory like that. I can recall. It makes sense. It's just not in the player's favor. So we gotta find Turtle Shell, which should just be like around here. But on some level, I always think it's Wait. cool when games try new risky things Shite. like that. Shite! No! What do we do? What do we do? I accidentally got that chest and I can't get the muns inside. Also, I have to come from come at that from the other direction, which is really annoying, which means I have to do half the fucking other stage again. Oh, you know what? I should try going... Have I tried going that way? No, I haven't, so let's just try to go that way. Shoot. This is ending poorly. Now this guy's here, and I don't necessarily want to fight him. I don't fight this bad either, you know, or don't always get what we want. Yeah, I think it's cool when games, like, try something so new and unorthodox like that. Even if it is wieldy and not like the best in execution yeah like I can't think of any other game that uses an inventory system like that I mean it's no different from assigning an item a size you know am I poisoned I guess... the hell out of here the naked man poisons me why am I not surprised <laughs> so it's kind of like it's like a 2d no gooey version of um, Resident Evil 4's briefcase storage. Right, basically. See, but there you get to visualize it, so it's not as, you know... Right. Too... You're like the panel system in 358 Days Over 2. I think that's how you pronounce that. Of, I know, I'm pretty sure I've seen Resident Evil's um, inventory style in another game that predates it at some point, but I can't, I, the life of me can't remember what it was. Yeah, the attache crease is pretty great, though. I, you know, I gotta admit. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I just, I feel like... Oh, good, for a second, I thought you were getting attacked by more naked men. I feel like you can't in this game. Oh my god, I have to go like all the way back to the beginning. I don't know what the drop rates are in this game for anything. That would be nice to know. I think you I think the dolls are like have their own drop rate cuz you don't always get those either. So like for the skeletons Again, it would be kind of nice to have to backtrack a little bit if you just, like, got rewarded for it, you know? You know, like in Metroid, for example. If they just dropped, like, health and money, like, that would be nice. Boy, so this is going to be one of those doing, nights like, where the stupid neighbor... doing, like a, like, a blog podcast style thing talking about the whole Metroid mania as a concept because I think it's really fascinating but I mean I think it's a good way to design a game it definitely makes the player feel like they're getting somewhere I just the, my main thing is that it's annoying to have to try and remember where to go a lot of the time I mean like, yeah that's why basically every game after the original Metroid had a map because navigating in NES Metroid was a pain in the ass I mean, maybe a hot take here, but pretty much anything on the NES was a pain in the ass. I disagree. 
but I I've not yet met an NES game that I've enjoyed. See, these bitches always drop antidotes like all the time. Like my entire inventory is gonna be fucking antidotes. I, don't I mean, need if a naked man waggles his naked self at you, you have a way to. The naked man should always drop hot dogs. Let's let's I be fair. I mean, you're not wrong. So let's see what is this way, if anything. Oh, hello, Mister. Oh, busy. I really, I look, hey, look, I really miss my halo bump. Like, Celestia, I, like, I've never understood, like, one, one thing I definitely do not understand about this game is why they give you Celestial Slash and feel like it's an okay trade-off for your power move. Like, halo bump is always there for you. It's always like, all right, well... You know, when, you, when you're ready to do some big damage, come talk to me. And then Celestial Slash is just not like that. Oh, fuck. You got some muns. I didn't want to touch the flame dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, losing, like, getting hit in this game feels so painful because there is so, because you don't get healing items. You have to buy them. Ah, uh, and you have that Castlevania knockback, too. I just noticed uh, that. Oh, oh, I don't have any healing items. No. Like, it's seriously the worst. It's seriously the fucking worst. I will say that's kind of something I've noticed that bothers me, is there's just a real drought of, like, healing item drops in this game. Uh, wait. How do I get Which over this thing? ironically an issue I have with, uh... The wood doesn't respawn. Oh my god. Okay, again, it's a really good game. It's not a great game. It's a good game. It's an okay game. It's just played functional. It's like it's functional, right? And you, you don't expect that off of licensed anime games. And it's just how it is. And it's just like, all right, well, I guess I gotta go and leave and buy some fucking pancakes now. Great. Well, I play a lot of Super Mario World ROM hacks. And one of the things that gets criticized is people not hasn't really been an issue for a while, but there's a big stretch of time where um, big release packs uh, had an issue where uh, there were just no pack. Like, there's extreme amounts of power-up drought, unintentional power-up power up drought, which is not fucking fun. I feel like hot like it, are the way to go in this game. In, in Mario, it's all about those power-ups. And, like, they had a real issue with it was kind of um, almost unintentional in design they had a real issue with people just not providing the player with enough power-ups and calling it a wrap and just saying hey this is a very hard hack and then it became unacceptable to do that and those types of hacks stopped getting accepted on the website which is good because that shit is stupid yeah no i agree like, that's not that's no, not a good difficulty that is among you. the cheapest most bullshit difficulty to do that now, there are some Kaizo hacks that don't give you power-ups because they expect you to be small for certain things, but it's right. also not like... The way they do it is you're not going to be, like, in immediate danger of immediately dying unless you completely and totally fuck up what you're trying to do. So as long as you're paying attention, you're good. But like, yeah, it was... Like, there are a lot of, like, high-profile hacks that I really liked that I wanted to play, but you got about couple worlds in, I was like, I'm just not getting any power-ups, and it's, like, not even fun. Like, level design looks cool. Like, they do a great job on the visuals and the overworld, but I want my fucking power-ups. So, basically, if your idea of difficulty is to prevent the player from getting, like, as far as Mario goes, if your idea of difficulty is to strip the player of useful power-ups, which is like 90% of the gameplay, that just makes it not fun. Yeah, I agree. Just insta-dying all the damn time. Which is, again, something I tend to hold over NES games. Because that pisses me off. Yeah, that sort of thing actually gets your hack, uh... uh removed. Not removed, but, uh... 
Well, the way it works, you submit your hack, the moderators approve it, and it goes up on the actual featured page. Well, if you break a rule like that, mods disprove your hack, and you have to either fix the things that are wrong with it, and obviously if they're going to flat take it down, the, the issues with it need to be a certain level of grievous, you know, but <clears throat> you have to fix the problems, or it can just remain in limbo. Balls. There's one hack, hack creator, if I can recall. His first hack was pretty good, a little average, but pretty good. Had some interesting ideas. The second one had a lot of issues. And like, no, stop, stop. Instead of like fixing any of them, he just started releasing them on a different website. And then that one website was not like, they didn't curate it or anything like that. They just like let you drop whatever. But like the user reviews all said the same thing. Like, dude, you need to fix this and this because it makes the game a bit too irritating in certain areas. Or it just, you know, it brings your game down. <laughs> I just remember thinking, like, when you're, when you're putting yourself out there like that, you, you need to learn how to take constructive criticism. That's just my opinion. Like, it's one thing if someone's just being a dick and criticizing things for no reason, but it's another thing if somebody, like, politely says, hey, is there any possibility of maybe fixing this? Because it seems like, you know, maybe it wasn't an issue in testing, but it's definitely an issue in execution now. If that makes sense. I don't trust you. Someone's. <coughs> oh, that guy is singing a song. Well, he's playing the. He was playing the <coughs> the guitar, or the lute, or something. That's a minstrel. He's playing the lute, or that might be a Mexican guitar because he had a sombrero. Yeah, yeah. This game is racist, by the way. Uh, I mean, playfully racist. Honestly, <laughs> I would say. I gotta put Eliza back on, don't I? Probably. Which is fine, cause all I had was Bodianoi. Which is a little bit ridiculous. Oh, was shit. It so annoying? We have, we have. Nice. Okay, let's do that. Actually, let's. Let's increase our movement level three levels so that we just kind of like run through everything. That sounds nice to me. Hi, it's Tim. Guiding hype. Yeah, you did say that was kind of the next one, didn't you? Oh, Tim's doing Ninja Gaiden? I would assume so. I'm certainly not playing Ninja Gaiden. I mean, you've been here for me <laughs> shitting on NES games this whole time. Oh, I have a lot I, of I, I love Ninja Gaiden. The original trilogy is really good. It's hard as balls, but it's really good. Yeah, well. I've only actually played through the first game. Balls are mildly of, I squishy. I was proud of myself because I streamed it blind and made it up to level 5 without... Uh, before I started having a real struggle. Ow. And then Farron showed me up the next day by doing it too and beating the fucking game. And I was like, you well, know what? You know what? <laughs> well, Farron's like sure. that. That's why we call him the Ned Flanders of gaming. <laughs> so. I mean, Farron is like, you could sit a 12 course meal down in front of him and he'd just be like, welp. And then it'll be gone eventually. And then we'll just race another Super Mario Brothers 3 rando, and I'll feel better about myself. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this... Part 1 tomorrow, I'm hype. I might play along with your series, because I haven't played that game in a couple years. And I do enjoy me some Ninja Gaiden. Yes. Yeah, best music! I'm just playing Lufia in the background while I'm watching Funk. Or trying to play Lufia, I'm quite tired. I like One Piece, it's pretty good. <laughs> Ow, my back. I did not like this anymore. Okay. <sighs> I would ask... That was dumb. I was about to ask Tim what, what he's been up to, but clearly has been up to playing Ninja Gaiden, which is cool. I played Xenoblade a lot today. I need to play more of that. I just had no time to do anything this week, so I'm hoping, or last week, I'm hoping this week I have a bit more time to get back into it. It is, uh, it's... Although, looking at my work schedule, well, it's not that bad. Actually, this week's not that bad. No, no, I, I complain Next about week, that's shitty. Next week is a little weird, but it's whatever. Very 
Dragon Quest Eleven is so good. I didn't expect this getting into it. Like everybody told me, it was amazing. It's one of my favorite RPGs of all time. It is so so good. I'm just, you know what? I'll probably just watch your LP of it. It was probably, it was actually, it was probably you, Reckless, that wanted me to play it. But oh well, I'll watch I it. I don't know that I said that. I wanted you to play something else. That I well, I mean, I know you wanted was. me to oh. play Tales of Vesperia, but like, yes, that. I don't know if you felt as strongly about Dragon Quest Eleven. Honestly, I need to know more about this Eric character because he seems attractive. Eric is great. I like him a lot. Uh, he also has my name. But with a K instead of a C. Yeah, he spells it fucking wrong. Maybe you spell it wrong. I don't spell it wrong. Although Not my like mom had a choice. Although my mom did somehow manage to spell Nicole with an H, so I don't know. I think I've seen that before. It's a little. But weird. I, I can't. I can't exactly say it's common. Yeah, I went through a streak of playing, like, really amazing RPG after really amazing RPG for a while. Like, I went from Dragon Quest XI to Tales of Vesperia, and now I'm into Xenoblade. Like, my whole 2020, my whole, like, latter half of 2019 and 2020 so far has been just big, bombastic RPGs. Same, like except that. for Animal Crossing. I mean, yeah, there was a significant chunk of time that was devoted to Animal Freaking Crossing. I haven't played in, like, a month and a half. I feel bad. Uh, I don't feel bad about it. After a while, I'm just like, fuck Animal Crossing. I mean, it was my first Animal Crossing, and I really did grow to love it. It's a, it like, like, okay, I like it as a game, but, like, I've spent 300 hours, and where am I? There's no end to that game, you know? It's like, at some point, you just gotta cut yourself off and be like, dude, no, I'm not, I'm not for it anymore. It always annoys me that, like, any system I have Animal Crossing on, it becomes my most played game. And it's like, I don't... It, it, yet, I don't feel like I've ever finished it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I don't know. I need I need reinforcement as a person sometimes. And Animal Crossing just does not understand my love language. So, in 12 more kills, we get to see what Jen does. All right, you get to make your first wish. I wish to not get bodied by this game all the time. Denied. I mean, I, I wish about that any game, but no. I wish for Oh, food. it actually gives you a counter on screen. That's it, actually really nice. It is nice, and I appreciate that. Like, I didn't expect them to do that. I thought you were I, going to like, Yeah, I kind of figured you'd be shit. on your own, too. Oh, my God. What's it going to be? I still want to do that that podcast blog thing talking about like Castlevania. Oh my god, you actually do get a piece of food. Castlevania. I I'm got noodles. Metroidvania as a concept. I'm all for it. Fascinating to me. Dude, I got free noodles from that shit. Hell yeah. If only you actually oh, but just a noodle tier level of healing. No. It would have been silly because you barely had you lost health. Right. No, I actually got noodle. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to keep that on then. Because I'll just like keep spawning it. Well, if I ever need items and like don't have any money. Which is like. Enemies do not drop money often enough. So I will always need money. I know I can do that at some point. And have it be lucrative. Wait. I missed the snake. What the hell? Ugh. Where are you at, snake? Elusive snake. Well, at this point, anytime I don't find the noodles is... is I mean, anytime I don't find the snake is more time to get me more noodles. So, Oh, there it is. Silver rod. What does that give me? Max health, two levels. I really don't need that. I'll keep my three movement speed. Oh, there's a chest I haven't gotten here. What's that got in it? Muns. Awesome. I still want to do the... I st <laughs> I've been kind of bummed out about the uh, non-reaction to my creative podcast thing in Mod Lounge. I mean, you already know I'm down for it. I know. I've already tried, but I've tried, like... 
bringing up the thing I actually want to start with twice, and no one, and everyone's just been like, no, quiet, silenced, cricket chirps, and I was like, come on. I th I think, well, I was gonna say I think that this particular stretch of 2020 has been hard on everybody, but you would, but honestly, I would feel uplifted by working on something like that. But I know, right? I can't vouch for I can't vouch for everybody, so. Like, and I, I guess people don't understand what I want. It's like people bring their own ideas. It's not that we collaborate on an idea or something. It's that, you know, you bring your own idea and we talk about them. My whole thing was that it's based off of this, um, this college class I had my first semester at college called writing fiction. And like 80% of that class like, 80% of class time was spent discussing stories that we, the students in the class, actually wrote. Which was an immensely good experience for me, because it was, like, really nice to have people sat in a room and forced to talk about what I wrote. Because you just... Was that during what? the Mage Boy times? Yeah, but I didn't write Mage Boy, because it wasn't for that. You know how school is. They're like, no, nah, right. we're not doing fantasy in this class. I wrote two short stories for that class. I wrote, uh, well, I mean, I wrote more than two, but um, I wrote one that was called The Living Dead, which I'm really proud of. Um, it was like this noir story where um, this dude kills another dude, and then, actually, I don't know if I should spoil it. Oh, man. It's not long. It's like fucking, I don't even think it hits double digits in pages, but it was really good, though. And then I did another one called In Search of Stars, which was about this um, neurotic dude who decides to take a drive to try and solve his problems. Um, which sounds like a fucking one-page thing, but it actually isn't. Um, it was really like a reflection of my own sort of insecurities because, like, I had only just started to drive at the time. So, like, the idea of getting lost was, like, really a thing for me oh i feel that i was the same way so i wrote about um like he 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 tries to go to the country to see stars and he ends up taking a wrong turn and ending up in the city and that's really scary because the city's scary and there's bad people in the city so like you know. which i don't know if I would assume this was 2010, so it actually hadn't happened to me yet, because the first time I came home from MAGFest, I actually uh, got off an exit late and ended up going through the, uh, the tunnel and into the city and had to figure my way out of it. That was probably a little freaky. It was a little freaky, but I got through it. It was fine. Wait, where's Tokigara? I'm not efficiently using my decks, but it's fine. Boy, I was listening to, uh, I'm still doing Tim's Final Fantasy 4. I missed the fucking RAM. Um, I'm still doing Tim's Final Fantasy 4 LP. And, um, it was really cool. There's one episode where he's, like, where he talks about, I'm going to MAGFest tomorrow. Looks and like, like Pokemon. And it, it dawned on me, um, it dawned on me that that was the mag, that was the first MAGFest I went to. So that was kind of cool. Oh wow! The video was po cool. the video was posted on January fifth, twenty twelve, and I was like, ah, "That's cool." So I actually no, I think I went on the seventh, so I wasn't quite. Uh, the question is, do I have inventory space for this next thing? Maybe not. So let's just get rid of these antidotes because I really don't need three of them. Honestly, if I'm in an area where I'm gonna have to use them, it's not. I guess I gotta do that. God, that first trip to MAGFest was so... Ugh. I love that I have that memory. I'm so glad I went because, like... It was the first thing I'd ever done like that by myself. Um, it was the furthest I'd ever driven from home, which is stupid because it's an hour away. Um, but, like, it was the first time I'd ever really gone to something like that. First time I, you know, went away from home by myself for a little bit. And, like, I don't know. I really didn't think I had it in me to, to actually do it, but I did. And I remember the thing that, the thing that got me to go was actually, um, 
listening to Gurren Lagann music that morning. That's was pretty like, rad. I was like, dude, C mode would fucking do it. So you have to. And that's kind of going to be me uh, when I eventually get to go, because, like, I'll be honest, I've not really traveled that far <laughs> by myself, so. Yeah. If I go places, it's usually with friends, so. Right. Then this would be a big step. Yeah, I, um, that'll be interesting the first time I actually decide to travel on my own, which I really wanted to do this year, but obviously. That being said, I'll probably have my stepdad go with me to the airport so my truck doesn't have to sit there for however long I've gone. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's always a good idea in general when you're doing airport stuff. I've never, like, I know my stepdad's definitely one of his vehicles at an airport one or two times. I just, I don't know, I'd prefer if he just drove it home then. I don't remember. I'll call him when the flight's coming in and oh, tell him, hey, we're cool. Yeah. That looks like a, a Pokemon, like a Shedinja. A Shedinja? It's a, it's, it's a boar or something. What's it called? I think it's called Silverhorn. Yeah, that's good to have. No, I'm trying it. not to think about MagFest too much because current situation might have ruined my chances, which would really piss me off. I'm this was the best chance I've had yet. Uh, again, I'm I'm going to try to do my best to make sure that's not the case because I definitely want you to come to MagFest and I definitely don't want some stupid ass fucking shit to not ha make that happen. At least it didn't ruin it at the last minute like it did two years ago. Yeah. I was going to surprise y'all, and then... Well, I say surprise you guys. You knew, but I didn't tell anybody else. Oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I probably did, and since it didn't happen, I don't remember that, so... We were just... We just happened to be talking about it, and I mentioned it. Yeah. Nah, dude, I would love to have you. It always does feel like... It always does feel a little bit incomplete when there are people that you know should be there and then aren't. Yeah, like, I don't mean this in a bad way, but, like, I keep, like, missing, I don't miss opportunities to go there, but my inability to get myself to a MAGFest because of life shit getting in the way kind of makes me feel like an outsider, even though I don't God, but, I don't know, I just I feel like I miss out on crucial bonding time with everybody. It's definitely a unique experience. Again, agreed, I, Tim, agreed. Uh, yeah, I mean, agreed, but I have a feeling it's not going to happen. I'm trying to stay, like, positive, but I'm, I've been having my doubts. Me too, but, Fine. like, the fact that schools are canceling into next year is, like, really depressing me. I'm just going to come out and say it. America is handling the situation like utter garbage, and it's embarrassing and infuriating. No, it is. I agree. That's about all I'll say on that. It's such a weird thing about our culture that, like... I mean, America is truly unique. I think people give America a little bit too much shit, and people don't look at the unique circumstances under which we are raised. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's just, like, a certain standard, like, a certain zeitgeist that we're brought up with. You know, where it's like, we're, we're great, we're entitled, we're national, we're patriotic and stuff. So it's like... You know, we obviously expect the best, and, you know, I don't know. It's it, it's interesting. It's something I could probably rant about more, but uh, this is not probably the venue for it, so I'm not going to do it. But, yeah, man, I always look forward to MAGFest. I've, I've wanted to go to MAGFest since I learned about its existence through TRG very early days. I thought that would be so cool to go, but I never had, like, any real reason like, outside of, like, meeting TRG, I guess. It's like, I didn't have any friends that were ever interested. They're very, very, uh, what's the word? My, my two friends that I would have liked to take, because they're, like, as big of a geek as I am, are, uh, introverted enough where they can't ha they don't like big crowds at all. So going to a big con would be a no-go for them. It's like, yeah, it's not easy. It's uh, it's it's really overwhelming. 
And like, well, I'm I sure think... it is. Like, I'm, I'm, ex I, I, when I took that test, I was like right in the middle of extroverted and introverted, and I've always been that way. I'm an omnivert. I'm fine either or, honestly. That's so I feel like I would be okay, but it would probably still take a little bit of adjusting. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be weird. Oh yeah, I'm always I like, feel like I'll be okay after a bit. The first day, I'm like always disoriented. I always like have jittery to... and ugh. Like my like, I actually like get foggy. It's like ridiculous. My brain is like, okay, too much goddamn information. Honestly, I could solve that if I got out more, but there's nowhere I want to go. Not like you can really get out right now, anyway. That's true. The whole world is actually the way I want it to be. <laughs> and people and people like just blow it off. You know, it's like. The worst part was when all this stuff started and everyone was, like, off work and shit, and I'm like, I'm still going. This sucks. I still had to work, too. I actually got more hours, but they were paying me more, so... Yeah, I didn't. Oh, so on that, um, we get to keep... So our differential's gone. They've stopped paying us the extra money. However, they're letting us keep, like, half the differential permanently, so we get a permanent pay dump. Oh, a pay dump? That's fucking pay awesome. Bump, which is nice. That's awesome. Yeah, my, my, I still uh, hate my job, but at least I'm making actual money now, so... Yeah, my job isn't doing that. We got a day off during if, the if week. If my fucking boss asks me one more time to change my scheduling so I can work Mondays, I'm going to, like, scream. Because I'm... If I do that, that means I have one day off a week, and I'm not doing that. Yeah. Period. We, um... I did that for two years, I did that. Technically, I had split days off. But I did it for two years, either having one day off a week or having, like, Tuesday and Friday, and I hated it, and I'll never do it again. We, um, they would, they gave us, uh, like, a day off during the week. They called it a social distancing day, which is bunk, and it really only applied to half the weeks, because, like, we were working every other weekend anyway in the branch. Um, oh, shit, I forgot we're Metal Shark player over here. Um. That old shark player. And they just, that uh. That X6. Yeah. It is. That's what we talked about last time we were in here. Right. And Dora was like, I like X6 because Gate. And I was like, fair. I mean, Gate is cool. I like Gate. Honestly, it just sounds like I'm saying gay, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> he probably is. Let's face it. I mean, he purple. So. Um, that, that That's a, a bad generalization. Forget I said that. Yeah. I was going for a joke, and it didn't come out right. What was I saying before that? Oh yeah, they gave us the, they they just took away the social distancing day, and I'm like, God damn it! I mean, I get I'm, it. It's I'm a, really glad that it's a day that they weren't my, paying us, but whatever. I mean, I'm really glad that in my state right now, they're actually mandating like a lot of business have businesses have agreed to it that you're required to wear a mask to go into these businesses, which is the way it should have fucking been from the get go. I don't know why it took us four months to get there, but. Yeah, it's uh, that's a thing where I am too. That's probably not a bad thing. God, not all, I know not all states are doing that, but I mean, I do think it's a good idea. Yeah. But I I didn't tell you what happened to my mom. Oh my god. So, she called me really pissed off the other day, because she had her dryer broke and she was calling a, uh, she made an appointment with the repair guy that was a friend of, she uh. My mom used to be, she's a retired insurance agent. She used to, you know, do insurance. And this guy was a, a customer at her office. Really nice guy. And he was a repairman. He used to work for a local business that repaired, like, uh, washers, dryers, all manner of things. And uh, so she called him up and he said he'd come over, no problem. And uh, he called her and said he's, he was running late, but he'd be there. He's like, all right, no problem. He gets there and she's over 60 and a smoker so she's like the most at risk for this oh yeah yeah and also she'd kill me if I told anybody she's a smoker <laughs> but oh well she doesn't know you so it's fine but uh so he came up not wearing a mask and she just politely asked she said I'm, I, I don't mean to impose but um I'm of the highest risk because I'm you know 60, 61, 62 however old she is now and I do smoke so I would just very much appreciate if you could wear a mask while you're in here. You don't have to wear it while you're outside. Just while you're in here fixing it. And he just, like, turned around, got in his car, and left. People are so dumb about that. Like, 
it's it's not a big deal, you dumbass. And then, yeah, no, she was mad. She called me and vented. And then she told me later that she left a bad review on his website. I was like, okay, first of all, what kind of bad review? Because, <laughs> like, there's a good way to do it and a bad way to do it. Uh, I thought the worst and thought she did it in the bad way. <laughs> then I went and read it. And I was like, okay, that's at least respectful. I was afraid she, she has a temper and she has a tendency to say shit sometimes. Yeah, Google reviews are not a cool thing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say that she didn't uh, do something she shouldn't have. She yeah. had good judgment even though she was angry. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've always told myself I need to be better about, um, like, if I go somewhere just to leave a good review because people don't leave good reviews. <laughs> but yeah, like, she told me that. I was like, he just, like... He just left. He just got in his truck and left. She's he just like, left. Yeah. I was like, that, that's so, like, why? <laughs> Can't you just back out of the level now? Like, do you have to go all the way through it again? Or can you just leave the way you came? I can, I can do that, but I don't... I can't go through this way, which is dumb. So I kind of have so to backtrack. So if the lights are blue, does that mean you're still missing things in there? Yeah, if it's blue, it means okay. I haven't gone through the level yet. But I can't... I can't make it over this gap. I need uh, right. another. I need another ability to do that. So. Ugh. I should have saved before I did this, but it's fine. I'm just backtracking through here anyway. Ugh. Why am I like sweaty? This is weird. I don't like it. I hate summer. I just hate sweaty. I just hate sweating, to be honest. Sweating's good for you. It's gross, but it's good for you. It's gross, though. I I love summer. You know, the only I, the only time of the year I don't care for is winter. I I'm like spring, summer, and fall. Oh, I'm fine with winter. I'll just wear my coat. It's fine. It's cool. I I'm not really a big. I don't I don't like snow all too much, and I'm not really I don't I'm not really a big fan of. Cold, even though I, I worked in a freezer for five years back in the day. I mean, that might so. explain why you don't like cold, but, you know. I mean, I got used to it, but it didn't mean I was thrilled about it. Right. I don't know. I don't mind it. It's also very possible that winters around here just drove me to that conclusion, because winters really suck around here. What country? Oh, I gotta do this in reverse. That's not fun. I could have made it farther. I keep forgetting I have like movement speed level two now. I oh, yeah, level three. Uh, I took the one off for I, I think increased attack power, which is dumb. I sh I should put defense on now that I have it because I have silver shield. Balls, I just fall. Just take that shit. I don't care. I'm gonna get healed when I leave the level anyway. I was thinking I have that. The, the backdash really doesn't help a whole lot because, like, you backdash out of range of your attack, so, like, and there's no good way to get back. So it's, like, a little bit awkward to use. I'm surprised I made that. I'm glad I made that, but I'm surprised. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. It's really weird because that was like a that was like one of those lines that got memed, but I like I even even today I don't even know exactly where that's from. What line? 
A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Oh, I've heard that. Where have I it's, heard that before? It's from Star Wars. I think it's from Revenge of the Sith. But I, I can never remember from the... Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's from um, Episode 1 with from Chancellor Palpatine. It's yeah, when he gets. It's when okay. he gets nominated for the um, for for the chancellorship. We'll watch your career with great interest, Anakin. I always think it's Obi Wan for some reason. I just there's like another line that that like is said with the cadence of that sentence, and I can't remember what it is. And I I, I can't remember what the Obi Wan line is either. So that's like kind of annoying. Hey. You're just a skeleton. What can you do? I mean, nothing but a shambling shit show. She was shaking like a shitting dog. God, that is one of my favorite lines from that movie. Holy shit. I think, I think it's this way that I gotta go next. Yeah! I had to stop paying attention to music. I need to get back working on my, even, even if we're not doing the whole creative stream thing, I need to get back working on my Final Fantasy project because that was pretty good. I feel like there, I feel there's something good there. I mean, I would love to also. I need to remember to add things to the thing you and I were doing. I just. I, I've hijacked that. That's now my Final Fantasy document. So if you want to start another document, we're going to have to start all over again. I beg to differ, sir. I dropped some good ideas in there. I didn't use many of them, so we're still good. Wow. Ass. Asshole, even. I think literally the. The only one... I don't, fuck it, I'll look. I don't, even, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll see what I fucking did. Um, God, I love going into my Google Docs because I have the weirdest fucking Google Docs sometimes. Voice real idea. Um, an essay about Ellie from The Last of Us. How to make Twilight actually good. Batman things I did during the 2010s, top 10 final boss themes, Luke Skywalker, there it is. Oh, there's one called Defending Raylo. See, like, some of the only things you really suggested were Steampunk, Trigun, Sandland, Western, which I didn't use. Um, we briefly discussed a couple of characters. And that was basically it. So I've just kind of hijacked that and I've been planning my own Final Fantasy with it. I got a couple more party members to draw and stuff. To be so. fair, I kind of dropped the ball, but also, I guess... Yeah, that, that was that, kind of that, the start of when some of this shit got dropped on me, so... Yeah. I've been dealing with this year. Okay, and I hate that. I, I, I feel bad because I've been pretty absent in a lot of places throughout this year and a little bit of 2019 i've been trying to be better about that i mean i've been kind of the same way i really haven't been very active in any communities and now i can do this it's like the thing from blaster master <laughs> uh there it is so now we're in this level Oh, damn, I'm glad I didn't get poisoned there. That was nice. I have the sushi, right? Lots of sushi, okay. All right, you know, I'm going to regret not going up those. Basically, I don't mean anything by it. I've just had a lot dropped on my plate this year. No, I get it. Like, the last year, so. Everyone has. I've just been a bitch. <laughs> and that's basically been my issue. Hey, you just threw a rock at me.
I don't know what I've been. This year has been so weird. It, it's been a thing for sure. Because, like, 2019 was, like, almost kind of an epic year. Like, there, I actually feel like 2019 had an actual plot. And 2020 is just, like, chaos. 2020 is just so external and impersonal that it's, like, it kind of bums me out. Like, at least the issues I was having in 2019 involved people. And involved me caring about people. But, like, in 2020, it's, like, there's just nothing. In 2019, I was able to maintain the illusion that, like, various people cared about me. And then that's, like, basically what that year was about. And then... Fuck. Shut up, Amita Maru. I don't need your fucking... The year was about fuck. Got it. Uh, always is. <laughs> but, you know. But just me. No, no one else. No one else is involved in that, unfortunately. You ever get the feeling like you might be really good at something, but you've just never had the chance to engage in it? Yes. And that's all I'm going to leave that topic on, but like, you know. Why is that one fucking block just not spawning? Hey, What's going on? I'm going to die. I'm not using my fucking food on this. If I die, I die. Like, whatever. Did you say before you went here, so it's no big deal? Did I? Okay, good. I think you did. But no, like, that one block that doesn't want to spawn is driving me crazy, and I'm the one watching. I don't even give a shit. I don't even give a shit. I don't feel anything. And there it is again! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, okay. All I gotta do is this, and that's not bad. Also, I should probably turn Jen off, because Jen's really not doing me any favors. Although Jen's Maybe really not... Burgers and noodles. Jen's not helping me, um... jump over pits that are stupid. So, you know, <laughs> that's a thing. What about it, Jen? I called you on the telephone. You didn't answer my calls. You didn't answer my texts. What am I supposed to believe, Jen? I moved on. I moved on. I had to. I couldn't stop worrying about where you were all the time. I just had to leave. I just had to get out. I just had to find something better. I had to find someone who actually appreciated me for who I am. And you know who I found? No one, Jen. No one. I did know a girl named Jen once. She was pretty cool. She burned me a copy of the original Fully Cooly CD, so, like, how can I start up my lifelong addiction? Probably cost me a couple hundred dollars in pillow CDs at this point because I bought so many of them. No, no I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take it back, though. Come here. I'm a gitch. Metroidvanias. I've been playing um, Aria of Sorrow se uh, sequel oh on the God. DS. Um, I thought <laughs> Dawn of Sorrow recently. It's really good. I like it a lot. You said speaking of, and I really thought you were gonna say like speaking of Jen or speaking of bitches. I mean, I didn't have that thought, but thanks for putting it in my head. Get out of here, you dumb pumpkin! Look at this sinister ass pumpkin ass motherfucker over here. Look at this booping Looks like ass. a pretty cool dude. I like him. Look at this boop. Well, he's dead now, so. How dare you? He was my spirit animal in this game. Are you dumb, angled eagle. 
He showed me. He was like, bitch, I can turn. <laughs> oh, boss. No, don't do that. Don't. No, 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 no. Meatloaf that shit. All right, there we go. That platform got to... Oh, hey, Jen. What's up? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta... Fuck off, Jen. Oh my god, the platform spawned that time. Could have just used one of these, Phil. Could have just used a bowl. Could have used a bowl instead of making one out of a colander. Nothing. What? Nothing. That what? Said, then you ran into fucking Kazam. It was Jen. <laughs> oh boy, that was scary. This tall, mopey dude with his long arms. Hey. So is that gigantic gun usable on bosses? Because I have a feeling it might be useful for bosses. Boy, that yellow-shirted bitch just got more than he bargained for. <laughs> oh, God. Now I have to do the stupid platforms again. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can use it on bosses, but I don't know how helpful it is. Given that it, you know, takes a while to fire. Yeah, it has a bit of a charge time. Uh, shield. Which I apparently need, because bitches be knocking me into pits. Hey, Mr. Laser Gun. Yeah, no, Dawn of Sorrow is really good so far. Yeah, it, uh, I've only ever played Arya. I should probably play Dawn of Sorrow at some point, too. It has some touchscreen stuff where you have to, like, trace things, but it's really not that bad. You have to trace these magic seals. I know some people hated it. I haven't found it annoying yet. Apparently, they get kind of silly towards the end, but I'm not that far, so... <gasps> oh, that was so fucking dumb. That was a hiccup. That was a mighty hiccup. It really... It wasn't even a hiccup. It was just me going... Oh, Jesus. What is it with me and jumping into pits today? Just, like, on my own. It was of my own accord. What's the guy's name from Captain Invincible? I don't remember. I legit don't remember his name. Count Dooku. Christopher Lee. But the character's name. Count Dooku? No. That's the, that's the joke. That's not the, the character's name. Oh. There's, a, there's this obscure movie uh, from, like, 1979 uh, called The Return of Captain Invincible. Um, this guy, I think the other guy's Alan Arkin, um, about a recovering alcoholic superhero, and it's a musical. And, um, oh, Mr. Midnight, that's his name. That's, that's Christopher Lee's character's name. Um, and Christopher Lee gets to sing this wonderful... Uh, tune called Name Your Poison where it's the, the lyrics are basically just uh, um, a list of different like alcoholic drinks <laughs> but um, just in the scene before that he um, he drops some giant peach pits on Captain Invincible and of course the first thing Captain Invincible says when he encounters Christopher Lee's character is uh, well that was the pits Wow. And it's like the stupidest joke. You know what? You can just huck that up your butt. I don't know. It's a, it's, I, it was a movie that I found for free on YouTube once. Um, and I always quote the one song. I'm sure I've showed you the bullshit song 
That's from Oh yeah. Multiple, which I think should be meme quality, absolutely. And I don't know how it hasn't been. And one day it's going to be, and I'm going to be really pissed because I'm going to be like, dude, I advocated for this. Y'all fucking missed it. I mean, you know what phrase I don't like? Miss me with that shit. I don't know if it's because I would never have the balls to say that for someone or what, but I hate that phrase. Miss me with that shit. Fuck off, I'm going to hit you with that shit. And then you're going to be like, well, fuck. It's not up to you whether the shot misses or his hits. I don't know what other modern idioms bother me or turns a phrase or whatever you want to call them. No, you stay away from me. You stay over there in your corner. Bum! Get... I get on my spaceship, get, get. I can took a derby on the rocket to the moon and say, I don't want to shit, get, get. I can took a derby on the rocket to the moon and say, look at this. There's some dragon ass clouds moving in here. Look at this stupid jank ass body at the end of this totem pole. What the fuck's going on there? Ow. Like he's, like he's Ow. sitting on the pot. Do I want to be down here? Probably, the answer is probably not. This seems like a place for losers. Ugh. What's the line? Losers, winners, and I won the lottery or something? I was thinking about that song the other day. I have this fake band in my head. And I always try to think of cover songs that they would play. Like, a fake band that isn't, like, including me. It's like a f actual fictional band. What's the name of this fake band? Uh, I really need another one, because I really just kind of stole it from Fire Emblem. <laughs> I feel like Azure Moon would be a really good name for a band. That's a rad name for a band. Holy it shit. would be. But, um, unfortunately, it's a, it's a thing from Fire Emblem, so I don't know that that would really go well. If anything, it would also just be kind of a rad name for an album. Well, I came up with, a, like, a whole, like, discography for them. Like, their first couple albums. It's based on one of my OCs that I don't really talk about for reasons. But, like, you know. It was cool. And I, like, I keep wanting them to do a cover album, but I can't decide on covers. Partially because, like, I would want them to be kind of, like, hip-hop R&B influenced. Because, like... So, the, so, like, it originally started out as two kids, like, f screwing around in college. One of them is this girl who's, like, you know, raised on classic rock and, like, likes punk music and Death From Above and all that stuff. And, and then, like, the other guy's, like, he's in the musical theater, but he's, like, black, so he's got, like, all those influences, right? So it's, like, I don't, I unfortunately don't know enough about, like, hip-hop music to make informed decisions about what songs they would want to cover in some ways. So it's, I don't know, it's a little bit difficult. But I always try to think about what their set, what their sound would be like, because, like, the bass guitar would have to be all, like, crunchy like it is in DFA. Which is like, damn, I wish Peyton was here, because I really want to recommend Death From Above to him, because, God, I love that band. I should take I should take them as my CD tomorrow, even though I never did finish Wolf Mother. Even though it dawns on me that I know like zero lyrics to their songs, because I they're like one of the people I can't understand for some reason. 
it's never mattered because the only thing that matters in their song is the bass. Fuck you. Is it weird? I kind of missed my chance at free nude. Oh my god. Now, uh, I hate branching paths in video games. They make me feel uneasy. They make me feel nervous. Oh, hello, sir. You look incredibly dangerous. And I don't trust you. That's not going to hit him. Although your attack is rather predictable, so I'm feeling a little bit sick. Literally murder me, please. I mean in real life, not in the game, because that guy did it well enough in the game, so I'm just... Fuck! God, I'm not even through the... Oh, no, I did get through the first part of this level. Shit! I have to do this again. I'm still thinking about that rant I went on earlier about how people are kind of like too nice today. Like if people like you on the internet, like, like it's not a bad thing that people are nice, but like people are definitely like too nice, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like. It's just, it's like, it's it, it can't be healthy to have unconditional support from a whole lot of people, you know what I mean? In a way. Yeah, I, I I think I can see what you're getting at. Like you just like you just you never then know about your what you know what the fuck's wrong with you. But then again, a lot of people really make wrong assumptions based on things they think they know. So, on the other hand, maybe it's better that way. But I don't know. I guess people like sort of accept what other people say, even about themselves, is true. So it's kind of annoying that it's like, I don't know. It's just in the day of the age of the internet, you don't know what to believe, even if, even if it's someone just talking about themselves, you know? True. It's kind of like that personality test the other day. Like, it's really easy to, to think you know yourself, but like, those questions are all based on your scale of things, you know what I mean? Like, you right. might say you're thoughtful about something, but like, Thoughtful to you might mean I thought about it for two hours, and thoughtful to someone else might mean I thought about it for five hours. So it's like, it's interesting how personal scaling might be a factor in that sort of thing. There we go. Definitely saving after this one. Let's be facing the right way, but not. Oh, you dropped muns for me that time. Thanks. Why do I keep saying it muns? That's really weird. I don't know. It's like really weird that the internet has given us a like a inflated sense of our own self-importance. Or just like I don't know. It's really kind of left us alone with our thoughts despite giving us access to far too many people at the same time. Nope. You're just gonna pull anyone out of your pockets because you're a jerk. Oh my god, that thunder spell obliterates. Holy shit. What? Playing Lupia. Oh, right. right. I forgot. I was like, I didn't cast a thunder spell. Oh, there's another one of these over here. No. No gen. Yeah, I had to. This is my third time through the prologue because the first time the emulator crashed and the second time. I forgot you're not. It's one of those um, Chrono Trigger things where you're not supposed to touch the chest at the beginning, but you can pick them up. But you won't be able to pick them up uh, when you come back to this place at the end of the game, which is when you really want them. 
Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I forgot about that. And I just started picking up shit willy nilly, but I was like, oh, wait a minute, crap. What am I doing? Oh, Jen. Oh, Jen resets. Also, this guy's a bitch, and he's really in bitchy placement, and he needs to fucking leave. <laughs> Sir, this is a fucking Wendy's. There, I think there was a chest over here, so I'm just gonna. Oh, sure. Enough. Okay, I think this is just like a my area thing, but has anyone else does, has anyone else seen commercials for cats insurance? I'm pretty sure it's just a my thing, but goddamn, I still remember insurance. those. I've never heard of it. Yeah, I think it's a local thing. It was like the weirdest. It was, they they were like really weird, and I'm pretty sure that the cats insurance guy was like you know money laundering shit all in offshore accounts and whatnot. Well, that's reassuring. They had this like very uh, verbose uh, black lady on the on the commercials who would say, "Tell him, sugar, tell him," and she would like pronounce things weird. And she had a phone in her lunchbox, like not like a cell phone, like an actual corded phone that she just fucking took out of her lunchbox. Oh, interesting. She's fucking weird, dude. And he also said the word "toot" unironically. He said, you deal with those insurance companies that don't give a toot about you. Don't give a toot? <laughs> it was just like a really weird thing, but like, I bet it appealed to a certain audience, you know? It's like some, some commercials are just like that. Like the commercials for the general insurance. God, with, with Shaq, yeah. Like, really, Shaq? You live with the general now? Don't give a toot. Oh god, I need you dead before I try to fight this yellow dog. I mean, I don't know, man. The internet today just makes you neurotic. It's really weird. I had a really good, like, rant about this, and now I can't remember what all my points were, because I made a really good point about, like, how the internet affects people, and it's like, I can't remember it. it sucks. If only we were live when you made the original rant so we could look back on it. Yeah, man. That's why I need to stop saying good things in the shower. Wouldn't it be the worst thing ever if you think best when you're naked? Like, that would just be the worst thing. I mean, I don't know what it is, but taking a nice shower really makes my mind wander. Right? I get, I get good ideas in the shower. Same. And while I'm driving, which is another place that I can't expound on any ideas. Right? That, that happens to me, too. Hey, Mr. Blue, you're just running down there. It's all right. I just got to wait till I can stab you in the back. Because I'm that kind of bitch. The dogs in this game are the worst. They're the worst. Now you get back here, Mr. Pumpkin Guy. Whoop! Oh, Jesus. Here we go again. I'm just going to wait for that bitch to come back because I ain't, I ain't messing with him and his weird run cycle. I'm just going to have to deal with it. I'll kill you this time just because I don't trust anyone. Including myself. Especially not myself. Well, I got killed by Mr. Swingin', swingin Ass Dude, so let's just go over here. 
punch that guy. I have a feeling this is going to a chest and not like the actual end of the level, which is what I'm looking for, basically. Although, this is pretty extensive right now. Oh no, this is the end of the level. Okay, well I'm going to do that so I can save. And then I can go back in and look for shit if I want to. Which is what I'm going to do, so. Just because I'm curious, I can always come back out this way. Oh, you know what? This is going to fucking suck because now the totem poles are facing me. And this is why I wish they didn't take away Shiloh Bump. Don't know why they do that. thing because then I can buy food, you know? Wow, why do I have four of these bitches? Get out of here and don't I mean it's gonna be like so random but like never mind I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> it's not bad or anything, it's just stupid. Well now you got me curious. I was going to say, I I want to go, I've been thinking this like randomly lately, but like, dude, I want to go on a date. Like, are dates fun? Do they suck? They seem like they could also suck. I wouldn't know. I haven't been on one in a very long time. It's same. That's why I'm like, are they bad? Well, this is that good time to use that back dash you got there, buddy. Right? Now you got me thinking about the last time I actually went on a date was in 2013. Well, you got me beat, sort of. Well, I don't know. You, I should probably consider some things I did in 2013 a date. There you go. Oh, yeah, two chests. Probably with items I can't hold. Okay, well, that one's an antidote, so I really don't care. Is it kind of weird because it's like, dude, I'm afraid to use dating services because what if no one is interested in me? And I find, like, as sad as that sounds, like, in my experience, that would be the case. I don't know. I've had, I kind of have mixed feelings about dating sites personally, so I don't really go for those. I mean, I think some are, are a little bit like, you, get goddamn, damn God, get the fuck out of my life. I don't want to go on a date with you. Now I gotta use my freshly earned hamburger. No, I don't. I'm gonna use a sushi and a hot dog. Alright, blue man, I know you're over there. Give me that I Feel Love song by the blue man group with that one girl. I don't think it's Regina Specter. I thought uh, you were talking about a different I feel love and I was about to slap you. Wait. Which one? There's one, I can't think of the guy's name, but it's some modern artist and it's a horrible song. I don't like it. I'm gonna fall on a... Okay. Um, there's also one by the Dead Weather. I feel love every million miles. I love the Dead Weather. So them in... that band. Uh, it's a Jack White project, uh, where he's the he's the drummer in it sometimes. Wait, isn't he a guitarist? Yeah, primarily. I mean, but he plays everything. Cause he's Jack fucking White. That's White Stripes, right? Yep. Yeah. White Stripes, Raconteurs, and I need an antidote. Good. Glad thing I have four of them. Hot take that you'll probably look down on me upon, but I don't like White Stripes. Their, uh, their taste. They're an acquired taste. Why did I fucking... Oh, because it didn't actually heal me. Okay, that would be why. Well, I can actually buy... A lot of things, but I'm just gonna buy two hot dogs and call it a day, because... I have four antidotes, so... I don't know if I can do anything with them. Ow, 
fuck, you can't just walk in on me like that while I'm stretching my back. I'm gonna go straight up my butt. <laughs> Can you quack? Can you quack like a duck when you suck? What a legend that man is. And what a legend the guy is that like walks up to him and just like jiggles his cock. What? Whoa. You've never have you never seen that video? The goat and your mom? What? Can you no. quack? So, wait, have you not? De so, you laughed when I said, go straight up my bot. Is that because Tim says it? Yes, that's and what I thought you were quoting. It's it's from something. It's, I didn't know that. It's from this live performance of a song called, uh, Can You Quack? And it's by these guys who are playing this, this song in a backyard. And this dude is <laughs> this dude is wearing like a fucking like thong and the entire time that he's singing the song he's like thrusting his hips and his junk is swinging all over the place. Oh god. I'm I I've got to send that to you later. This is required fucking reading. Okay then. It's a it's it's amazing. I'm really glad that guy just jumped in the hole. To be honest, I was starting to think it was just me, and he made me feel a lot better. It's weird, because I feel like the, the bassist in that band is actually rather talented. Bless. I don't know why you bless a burp, but... I like how you said thank you. I bless for coughs, too, because, like, if they're coughing, they probably need it, too. Like, you know what I mean? Especially in today. At this day and age, yeah. yeah. In this day and age. I'm like 90% certain who the boss of this area is, but I don't, this, this area, this level does not necessarily match their aesthetic, which is a little bit weird to me. Oh, hello, talisman guy. Get the fuck out of my life. Get out, you king of the Jews. Get out. It's from a musical. Don't, don't like, don't, don't jump on my shit. Don't at you. Don't, um, what, 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 what was the phrase? It miss me with that shit. <laughs> it almost sounds like they're saying missed me with that shit. Like you're going to put it in a spray bottle and spritz it at them. Oh. Not you took that literally. Okay. Fair enough. If I go down here, is it just. Yes, it is. Okay. So now everyone's going to respawn, which is you know, just good times. Good times with Robert Pattinson, boys. All right. Interesting choice you went with there. What? Robert Pattinson. Yeah. The movie Good Time stars Robert Pattinson. I didn't know. Never seen it. Never heard of it. It's pretty interesting. He plays a New Yorker, and he does a pretty damn good job of it. He's a sleazy motherfucker in that movie. He's actually not a bad actor. He was just in Twilight, and that's just kind of how that goes. You know who, uh, an up-and-coming actor that I really like, I think he's seriously going places? Who that? Daniel Radcliffe. 
I don't think he's really up and coming, but okay. Well, I mean, he's done a lot of legitimately good stuff, and he's like a really cool guy too. Like, he does really a lot nice. of he does a lot of fucking weird stuff, which is great. That movie where he plays a dead body, I want to see it. I never got to see it. And I, I have. Was really interested in I it. have seen it. That ending, though. It's it is it, it's a good movie, but it's not like what you think it is. I actually really enjoyed the ending of it, and I think that it's a movie that is for people like me. It was kind of like the movie Her, which I really thought was going to be for people like me, but it ended up not being that. That was a weird movie. I don't know if anyone here has seen that one. I have not. It's fairly good. You cherry tapping shit brain. I don't know why they make these levels so long. Some of these levels just feel long as hell. It's like I've been in this. Yeah, he did a TV post. series um, last year and this year with. Um, I have to remember what it is now. Uh, Dark Ages? Yeah, Dark Ages. And it was awesome. Both of them were. They are really funny. Oh, look at the fucking moon. Holy shit. Not really if you're in Majora's Mask here. I did say it. I'm going to say it again. Just because I feel like it. Yeah, Dark Ages was legit. I'm really glad I watched it all. Don't knock back on that bitch. Damn. No, seriously, games with split paths like this really play up on my anxiety because I never know if I'm going the right way. If I am going the right way, then that's shit because I want to be going the wrong way to get all this shit. When I say that, it just reminds me of Tell your bitch to get off my shit And I don't remember any more words You know, I took a random fucking nap today Which doesn't make any fucking sense You were just like, take a nap And then you're just like, what the fuck? You ever just you ever just wake up and go, what the fuck? Every I mean every morning I wake up and go, what the fuck? Can't say that I do, but I, I'm not a. I have difficulty taking naps sometimes. Like it's weird. I do too. I just laid on the on my bed the wrong direction and then was like, all right, well I guess we're comfy now. Like for me, I can take naps sometimes. I don't like taking naps though. But for the most part, like when I lay down with the intent to sleep for whatever reason my body wants it to be like a full night's sleep so if I take a nap I have to set an alarm basically it's so, like I'll have a hard time getting up out of bed otherwise or wherever I've decided to take a nap This makes me nervous. I can make this jump, right? Okay. I really don't want to loop back into the first world and have to redo the entire part of this world again. Because, hey, yeah, I'm not going to go over that. That seems like a bad idea. I mean, we're going to take a rain check on that one. The 
Isn't that Bruce Almighty where he says games canceled on account of rain and then it starts raining? Yep, that's Bruce Almighty. I like that movie. It's a really good movie. Man, I saw a tweet a couple weeks back now. Oh, there are lots of enemies around here. Um, it was this guy doing Her doing a younger Harrison Ford arguing with an older Harrison Ford. And it was really awesome. And I, and I like think about some of the quotes from it. Because he, cause he accuses older Harrison Ford of, of uh, drinking the last protein shake. And older Harrison Ford goes, Yeah, I drank it. I like, the, the, I like those things. They're like chocolate, but they're not. And it's just like, it's, it's good. I don't know. I like, I really wish I could do a good Harrison Ford impression. He's got a very distinct, like, he roughness does. in his voice. He does. I mean, Mark Hamill does a good one, but, you know, it's fucking Mark Hamill. Of course he does. Right. I watched a skit. Apparently, DC Cartoon Universe did a uh, skit where uh, the actor Mark Hamill is kidnapped by the Joker and the Trickster. Oh, that's cool. And they're all voiced by Mark Hamill. <laughs> and Mark Hamill gets himself out of the situation by voice acting. I don't trust you. Ow! Stop throwing rocks at me! I didn't deserve this. I'm just a small child. Maybe don't let me say that often. I'm not saying never, just maybe not often. Let me eat this sushi. Let me just pop that right in there. Hey, oh. Listen when I say, oh. oh. Come back in, hey, oh. I can't believe we covered that song. That's insane to me. That was not a late that was not a late stage cover either. That was like one of the first covers we did. That song's fucking insane. That's a really fucking long. I mean to be playing live, I mean. Really good song though. Really? 25 damage is that much of my goddamn health bar? Get out of that. What, what, what's the saying? Miss me with that shit. <sighs> Reminds me of my math teacher in, in 10th and 11th grade. Where he would fumble around before finally saying, What is it you kids say? My badness? <laughs> he was... <laughs> my favorite thing that he would say, though. Is uh, so you gotta understand. This is like you're like imagine your typical old math teacher, and like that's exactly how this guy looked. I mean, like you know, just the rim of white hair around his head. You know, the rest of him was bald. Um, I mean, puffy nose, glasses, always wore the the, the tie and collared shirt combo. You know, um, and anytime someone was absent, he'd be like, "Yeah, well, they're in the parking lot smoking dope and drinking." <laughs> And the best time was was one day, there was a day where I guess the principal was absent, and he said, yeah, well, Mr. Evans is in the parking lot smoking dope and drinking. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, Mr. McGrath, you're the best. Oh, that's not something I want to be a part of. Do you ever have uh, Clay Aiken be your voice of reason? No. <laughs> Can't say that I do. He reminds me to, to not save it all for Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, God. Find a way to give a little love every day. Fucking words to live by. What a fucking legend. 
Still pissed at him for stealing Solitaire as an album title, though. I think we all had our phase where we were addicted to Solitaire. Oh, yeah, I used to play Solitaire all the time. I played like 13,000 like... 13, fucking games of that shit. Mm. Back in like the early 2000s. Shit. A second go at Jen. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Give me. Yeah, the nudes. Jen gave me the nudes. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've unlocked nudes. More accurately, the nudes unlocked me. I'm now free. Fuck! Table. Table, 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 table. Table, 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 table. Table, 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 table. I wish I knew all the words to that. That would be fun. But I don't. But I don't. But I, it's not. That guy actually does a really good Harrison Ford. I think I already said that. Go to attack! Go to attack! What did Bocho di Taccio? Shoutouts to the uh, fake Italian in uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That's where I thought you were going. It's really good. It is. I, I, I say that, like, just randomly sometimes. Like, when I just want to say something, I'm just like, oh, I'll, I'll get about to botch it. You know? I forget what Mario sounds like. But who, I know what it sounds like, but I'm too tired to do it accurately. Let's be fucking real. Who gives a shit about fucking Mario? Luigi has always been the better of the brothers. Because he's green. And green is better than red. This is why I stand Tim in TRG, because he's green. Literally, literally the only fucking reason. Just I used to, uh, every so often when I'd play Mario games as a kid, I'd uh, do two-player mode. And since it was just me playing, I'd kill off Mario so I could just play as Luigi for the rest of the journey. Every so often. I'd do it all the time. Just sometimes I felt like playing as... Mr. Green. That's really smart of you to do, actually. I just, you know, I mean, I would play as Luigi because I was often player two. Because I had an older sister who would also be playing the game. Potentially. Man, I wish my SNES worked. I want to play Thomas the Tank Engine. I was actually really stoked when Farron played that as part of the SNES showcase. Yeah, he played both the Genesis version and the SNES version. That was fucking rad. Pop and Pat is horrifying looking in the Genesis version, by the way. Did you know that uh, Ringo Starr used to narrate Thomas the Tank? I, I'm aware. I wish I could do a Ringo Starr voice. I could sometimes do it, but I'm tired enough right now to where I don't want to push my luck. You could, uh, I mean, if you can do a Ringo Star voice, you can also do a pretty good, uh, wacko. True. That's basically what that voice is. I, I'm just gonna wait, honestly, until my celestial staff is repaired. Actually, that's probably a smart way to do this, because guess what? I have a spirit that lets me recover for Yoku levels really quick, like. It's this one. I just don't trust this guy, you know? I just, I just, I don't trust him.
I am far too patient right now. Holy shit, just go. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just do this to him? <sighs> okay, that was cathartic. What does he do, though? What does he do for me? Oh, doll. I really don't care. Wow, yeah, gen resets every time you change your deck. That is f fucked up. I, I don't. I don't. Arona? That sounds too much like Corona. God, that was hilarious. The other day I was watching uh, Chugga's uh, Pokemon Coliseum LP, and he named his Typhlosion Corona. There were, there were definitely some co uh, comments that were like, this did not age well. Well, hilariously, there was a, he found a uh, trainer named Biden. So I commented oh. that this is in this episode, Biden fights Corona. Topical. I don't trust that there's a bottom to there. Okay, there was. Hello, slow down. What's up with you? Hello, slow down, my old friend. What the? F oh, so Tim sent me the quack like a duck video. He sent it in, like a group chat that the three of us are in that I forgot about. Oh, is that what my other notification is? I know one's yeah. Juker, but the other one I guess is you. Oh, is this the one? We used this for something back in March. And I don't remember what. Um, probably Smash. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, because there's Picnic Face. Which you should rewatch while you're there. Alright, I'm down to just my nudes now. It's just me and my nudes now. I don't remember which way I've been, so, you know, let's just... Do I remember Fire Dog? That's the question. Well, there's a chest over here, so that bodes well. I really hope the boss isn't in this level. I really hope, I really hope not, but I have a feeling. I'm gonna be sad about it. I'm gonna be real sad about it. Oh yeah. Yep, this group is for Smash. I forgot about that. I kind of did want to do Smash today, but I mean, obviously, not. Don't have time for it now or anything. I thought about it. I I generally just want to do it because oh yeah here we go guess who it is. It's Chocolove. My <laughs> comic powers. He I think one I think his stick is that he like always gets his words wrong for some reason. Oh no he didn't mean comic powers. How about that shit? This is... I didn't realize it was going to throw me right into this boss. I needed to buy food, probably. Oh! No, okay, they call him Joko. Yeah, I didn't think four kids would let them get away with calling him Chocolove. And they call him Joko, which is probably better to do. Alright, this is going to be scary. Oh, oh, that is dynamite. That is dinner. Did he just say meh meh? That's funny. Where are you at? <laughs> this is fucking damage uh, that is terrifying and I don't like it. I don't. Is he making the Michael Jackson noise? What the what? hell? He's, he's making the fucking Michael Jackson noise. 
This is fun. This is like my favorite fucking boss right now, actually. Oh, he kind of is. What? <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, he's actually my favorite. Also, this boss fight just doesn't suck ass like the silver one does, so that's kind of nice. And by the way, I'll watch that video that Tim sent me like tomorrow when I get up. I'm eating breakfast. I'm gonna be better than me. You're watching going to eat. You're, you're going to watch it over breakfast. That's amazing. That's a bad idea. I'll wait till after breakfast, but I'd rather not do it's, it when I'm dead. Tired. It's not really so. that disgusting. I mean, like, dude, you don't even see any penis. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot that was part of the video. Already. Well, we'll just watch it like early afternoon when food is not involved. It's not that bad. I mean. Unless you really hate guys with songs. <laughs> He's got a lot of HP, though. This little, this little dude. <laughs> Makes the fucking Michael Jackson noise. Got him. Wow, that boss fight actually wasn't ass. Good job on being my favorite boss right now, Joko. <laughs> you did good, Joko. I, I have no idea about this character. I actually haven't gotten to the point in the manga where he's introduced. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Yeah, Mick is a very useful spirit to have. Basically gives you a dash. Although not a dash attack, which is a little bit annoying, so. Right, so we're definitely gonna save after that. And this is where it's well actually. Am I really using Tokajero? The answer to that is gonna be a big fat nope, so just use Mick. My gen's at 30 and I need some food, so hey, you know what? That is a that was just the weirdest sentence I've said. My gen's at 30. Sounds like I'm married, and like my wife is Jen, and she's 30. My Jen's at 30. Hey, this is the place with the, st with the stupid dogs down there in that stupid pit. So you'll just die. So you just die. Hard, it's so hard, dude, to put you in a shitty mood. See, now I can take the shortcut because I really don't care about anything else in that other place, so, you know, whatever. You know, let's just do this because it, power, it powers up my gen. Also, because I can do this now. Jaguars. Uh, maybe I can't do that now. Can I not? Really? Because I thought I could. Okay, maybe I can't. Oh, well. Next place I gotta go is up here anyway. Good old up north here. Get. Get. I'll get on my spaceship. Get, get, get. I can take a derby on a rocket to the moon. I get on my get, 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 get. I can take a derby on. I need. I really need to make a Grump Step playlist. Or find the CD. I don't know where my Grump Step CD is. Shit was awesome. Shit was amazing. It was an awesome time for the internet. Hi dog. Uh, uh, dog. Oh. 
No, I wish I had another day off. That would be nice. But no, I work Monday through Friday this week. I just started my weekend. I'm off till Wednesday. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. You know what? I don't think I ever did go beat that guy. And you know what? I'm going to do it this time because I have the tools probably now. This is probably when they recommend you should do it. Because, like, now you have more stuff to do, so that's nice. Oh yeah, that was much easier. Now we have Det the Viking. Which... What does he do? Stop slipping on icy surface surfaces. I really don't care, actually. Where's, uh, where's Nick go, by the way? Let's get him back in here. Maybe they do expect you to get that the first time you get you come in here. Cause it's like, I don't know, it's not super useful now, is it? So I forget what's next. I really wanna say we go to China next. I don't remember if that is the case or not. Yeah, you take that, Val Helen. Now I'm the master. This is where we use Mick, or Mike, I don't really know, because he never really says the name. Oh, and then you immediately have to use Napopo Punch, really? Maybe you don't need Mick for that jump. You probably do. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know how many streams this game is going to take me to, like, actually finish. I mean, how far along are you? 
God, that is such a weird question to ask me out of context. Um, I don't remember. Was it like 30 something percent that one time I saved? I think it was actually, it might have been 30% when I started. So. I would imagine I, I might be closer to 40 something now. I definitely made less, like, percentage wise progress, but the levels I went through were also longer, so. I would say probably at least two streams of this left. Okay. Oh yeah, China. We'll do this level and then we'll call it quits. I just wanted to see where we were at. I remember this this uh, this whole world being a doozy. So that'll be neat. I know this is this is like definitely a fighting world where you have to, there's a lot of enemies coming at you, a lot of different types of enemies. You really gotta you really gotta hope you're doing good here. I'm starting to remember this music now. This it's not the best. Oh, that was good of me. Oh, I do like this part of the music though. This part of the music is kind of nice. I feel like I should be able to get up there with Nick. But Nick is more of like a horizontal thing though, vertical thing, so. Um, it doesn't help if I don't press the jump button. Uh, also it looks like there's an alternate way up there, so I'm gonna have to just take a ring check on that one. For my health. Seems no. reasonable. No, I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, see, so you can do it. You see? You can do it. Oh boy, these guys. This is a duck and jump sort of thing where he drags his mace along the... I remember these guys. Just take a while. Because... A lot of HP. Ah! Oh. God, it sounded so painful. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. Wow, this is fucking tedious. Holy shit. I'm not you fucking go down anytime today, sir. Oh, wow. Am I supposed to go this way? This definitely looks like a way that I'm supposed to go. Yeah, sushi. Not worth the 50 enemies I killed to obtain it. Oh, I can't go in here anyway. I guess I'd need a key or something. Oh, I'll remember then. No, you son of a bitch. How dare you. How dare he. Also means I'm gonna have to kill that purple fuck again. Oh Jesus! Look at the damage you've caused to me. Man, I did want to draw tonight, but I guess I'm not doing that. This is definitely later than I wanted to run the thing. Also, I guess you didn't get tired, did you? Oh no, I've been tired. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Crap, I took a nap earlier. I was actually thinking about hopping off and going to bed here just a minute, but you're about done, so. Yeah, just like another minute or so. 
I mean, more than a minute, probably. Probably more like 10 or 5 or 11. Can you not? Can you just not? I'm not really in the mood for your bullshit right now, sir. You shooting arrows at my head? Fuck off. Y'all know what I'm gonna say next. When they start showing, giving you them hooks to look at, you just feel bad because you don't have the thing you, you need to use those. And I can't go in there either. I need Li Pai Long for that. But I think I get in this area at least because, like, you get a lot of shit in this area because there's so many fucking people. There's so many goddamn characters in China. Because in the manga, there was a whole arc there. Oh, you can... Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Sucks. But I mean, the cool thing is, is that since I've been doing the gen diet, I've... I haven't really bought any food, which is nice, which means I have money. So, there has to be so many letters in the alphabet. Reminds me, I was thinking the other day of the song that I uh, played with, with uh, a little side piece band. It was called Joe's Song, and the only song we played in it was, was, was E, because um, one time this guy we looked up to in, in a band of older guys... Um, said, man, you could just write a song just play an E, and then we did. And I think, I think in that song, I, one of the lines in the song was, it's the fifth letter of the alphabet. <laughs> I like it. I, I rhymed it with forget, but I don't remember what the actual line was. Alright, well, next time... Next time on... King of Fighters 2001. Good game. Well, uh, all I remember is that Bleed Man did a Jojinshi of it, and it ended with him and a girl in the shower, and as like a 12-year-old, that was the best thing. I'm not going to ask for any more context. There's really not much more. I don't fucking remember what that comic was about. Use it in Wheel of Fortune. You won't regret. I like Wheel of Fortune. It's a good, it's a good time. It is. Hey, when does Crystal Chronicles come out again? Is that next month? I want in on that shit, and I, I want it to be that remake. I want it to be streamed and or recorded. I think Dine wanted to do it too, so I hope, I hope I, I hope I'm in the running for that because I would love to play that, especially with like. I could see it. You you meet him and dine. That'd be nice. I would I would that'd be fucking awesome. I mean can't vouch for certain if I can get the game, but I'd like to cuz I played a little bit of Crystal Chronicles with a friend of mine back in like 2013, 2014, and it was pretty enjoyable. They really I liked need, it. And they really need to let you gift on Switch. Because I would spend a lot of money gifting games to people. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, thanks for coming out, visiting, hanging out, all that shit. One of these days I'll get my stupid Twitch affiliate shit working. But I've been lazy and kind of nervous, but, you know, whatever. Um, so. Woot. Um, until then, I hope everyone has a nice Monday tomorrow. Well, I'm I, off work. You get to sleep in. I, no I don't. I have to go to work. I don't know what kind of day it's going to be, but, you know. Yesterday while I, was... While I'm sleeping in and enjoying myself, I will be thinking of you. Sleep
unpleasant thoughts during your work day. Okay. Well, how does that sound? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Sending you positive vibes, gosh. Yeah, you're, think, you're trying to think of me while you're sleeping. That's a little weird. Um, don't, you don't dream about your friends? I've dreamed about friends before. I dream about a lot of things, okay? Don't even get me started. We'll be here for an hour. <laughs> I already talked about the Slither one. Yeah, let me know when Crystal Chronicles comes out. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Um... Bye, probably. Fucking end the stream, jackass. Did I save? I'm gonna save again. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention. I don't know. Thursday we'll be back to Spider Man, I guess. Spider Man. Having a good time with that game. Woohoo. It is a really good game. It is a really I, good I game. I do enjoy watching people play that. It's a really fun game. So. When I eventually get a PS4, it's going to be one of the one of the first games I get. Yeah, well, the nice thing about PS4 games is that they come down in price, so... Yep, they should start to come down here very soon. Cause that was like... Yeah, before long. I was like, there was one game that I saw that like had come down in price considerably oh, already. It still makes me mad. What? Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is still 50 bucks. Meanwhile, some games that came out on the PS4 around the same time... Oh, I fucking like know. Yeah no, it's, yeah, no, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Like, I'm on. Nintendo definitely pisses me off with that a little bit. Like, dude, you could you could lower them ten bucks at this point. I think you've made enough money off of Mario Kart Eight that you can fucking lower the price a little bit. Relatedly, though, the world ends with you is half off on on the eShop, so that's nice. It's a game that's worth twenty five bucks. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, I guess I better end the stream now, huh? I'm really bad at ending streams. I talk about this every time. But, like, I don't know. It's, like, weird because, it's like, I don't, like, super... I mean, I enjoy streaming, but it's not, like, something that I'm, like, yeah! It's, it's like, both good and bad. But it's, like, when I, when I have to say goodbye to a stream, it's, like, I'm stopping hanging out with people, and that sucks. I get that. Like it's like a little bit melancholy. It's like, man, I don't want to go. If I go, it means I have to go to bed. And if it, if I go to bed, that means I'm gonna go to sleep. And if I go to sleep, then that means I gotta get up and go to work tomorrow. And work just takes a long time. Honestly, it hasn't really been bad lately. It just takes a long time. Eight hours is a long time to do anything, man. I'll tell you what. <gasps> anyway. We'll see y'all on Thursday, or whenever. I don't know. We'll see what happens this week. Maybe things happen. I don't know. Whatever. Where's the stop button? I gotta press it now. I've gotta press it. I've gotta move the mouse over to the stop button and press the button so that the stream will but end. That's such a difficult thing to do. It is. It is. My weekend was a day and a half. I remember what I was going to say now, though. Look, ladies and gents, if you have to go do something um, outside of your house, right, uh, at a store or a, a, a public place of stuff, um, if you if it's a half hour until they close and you're still at home, y you missed your chance. Seriously, so on work, work on Saturday, and things always kind of happen like this, but this week it was particularly annoying. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, it was like dead the first two and a half hours. We're open three hours on, on Saturday. It was like dead the first two and a half hours. I had like six customers maybe. And then from like 11.20 until closing, there was always a line. And I was just like, why? Why are you all fucking dumb? Why y'all fucking come at the same time? None of y'all have a sense of propriety here? 
Like, yeah. ugh, I hate that about Saturdays. But I'm not going to get into that right now because i got to end the stream. Yeah, I don't know what it is about, like, Saturdays that brings out all the, you know. It's because everyone else is off, but i got to wake up and go to work. Anyways, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta end the stream now, so. That require moving the mouse over to a button. Oh, the mouse is already there. All I gotta do is click it. Do you, you have that power? Do you have the ability? All I have to do, I have the stomach for it. All I have to do is decide which sentence to cut short. It's gonna be this one or the next one. Or, well, I mean, now that you said that, I can make it one after that. What about the one after 909? 910? That was a song reference. I thought so, get. but I didn't get it. It just made me think 505 by the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> I think I'm out of things to say. That's a sad thing to be, man. Now you're just fast forwarding randomly in the game. And you can see it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta be like, oh, fuck shit.